Oh, this is just a classic little fun routine taught to me by the late, great Bill Pryor. If you remember from some of my earlier videos, Bill Pryor was co-owner of a magic shop in Cincinnati, Ohio. I went over there a lot when I was in high school. He was uh, the also the math teacher during his you know, real job, and then he was a magician at night and on the weekends. So he and I had a kind of fun connection. He taught me this little routine, and it is just a gem. I thought I'd share it with you here. Uh, this comes from a deck of ESP cards. ESP, of course, stands for Extrasensory Perception. And when I was a kid, people were very, very interested in ESP. They've kind of lost interest a little bit. But in 1952, I believe, at Duke University, Dr. J.B. Ryan developed a special deck of cards to test people's extrasensory ability, reading minds, precognition, things like that. The deck of cards used five different symbols, a circle, a star, a plus, wavy lines, and a cross. We're just going to use the stars and the circles because actually I think they're the coolest. So here we go. Four stars, four cycles. Four circles, four stars. They're going to pay attention. This is going to happen very slowly. We have the four stars on top. One, two, three, four stars. We're going to leave them right here. Two, three, four. We're only going to use one star at a time. We're going to take the first star and place it in the middle, I hope the camera catches this, in the middle of our circles. But what's interesting is if we slide it in and tap the bottom, you have to tap the bottom and you have to snap your fingers, something amazing happens. The star jumps up to the top of the pack and you're left with one, two, three, four circles. Yes, I'll be happy to do it again. We take a star, the star goes in the middle of the four circles, and it is legitimately in the middle. You can see, there it is. I'm going to tap it inside just like that. Once again, tap the bottom, snap your fingers, something amazing happens, the star jumps up to the top, and we're left with one, two, three, four circles. Now typically when I'm doing this close up for other people, I let them actually do the last step that I'm going to be you since you're there and, well, I'm here. We're going to take the last star, it goes in the middle of the four circles. We close them together. I let the person then tap it in gently. They have to hit the bottom, snap their fingers, and they can check themselves. The star is back at the top. We have one, two, three, four circles.